Let's talk about and break down sniper rifles bullet drop, how it relates to their bullet velocity, and which sniper rifle has the best of both. Bullet drop as a concept has been around for a very long time in games. Even when other weapons didn't have it, sniper rifles always seem to have it, in order to balance them out. In Warzone, all the weapons have bullet drop, however, you would think that it's based on bullet velocity. But since Warzone tries to simulate ballistics a little bit more realistically, the bullet's mass actually affects how long it takes for a bullet to slow down and also how fast it drops. Here are all the sniper rifles in their optimal builds and their max velocities. Throughout the video, whenever you see a bullet velocity, it will be color coded to these three colors, just like in my stat guide, so that whenever you see a bullet velocity in this video, you'll know exactly how good it is and how it compares to the others with a quick glance. So let's look at bullet drop at 200 meters. What I did is I shot a target at 200 meters. I did this with every single sniper rifle and these are the results. And this is what happens when we arrange them from worst to the best. As you can see, the Car 98 has the worst bullet drop and the M82 has the best. A few of you may know that the Ritek and the M82 do have insanely good bullet drop, so this is not a surprise for you, but to many people, this would be. Especially when their bullet velocities are pretty low compared to the others. Another thing that may surprise you is that the Swiss K31 has one of the best bullet drops here. And the weirdest thing to me was that the ZRG has the best bullet velocity, yet it is near the bottom of the bullet drop charts. And this is what it looks like when we arrange them into three categories. Red means that you're gonna have to aim slightly above the head in order to get into your headshot at 200 meters. Yellow means that you have to aim towards the top of the head in order to get a headshot. And green means as long as you aim anywhere on the head, you're definitely gonna get a headshot. So at 200 meters, you can definitely see that a better bullet velocity does not guarantee a better bullet drop. And I thought that was it for the video since it was just confirming things that were already said before. But then I decided to test it at 500 meters just to make sure it was the same. Spoiler alert, it was not. Things are about to get weird. This is what it looks like when we compare bullet drop at 500 meters. And now let's zoom in some more. Once again, at the top, we get the M82. And at the bottom, we do get the Car 98. So after the M82, we have the HDR, but instead of the Swiss again, the Swiss has now moved down two categories. In the three main groups, if you take a look at each of the weapons, you can probably change them around due to variation, since you can't always guarantee that you're right on the exact same pixel every time you click. I came up with these lines by doing averages, which means sometimes they were a little bit higher and they were a little bit lower. So despite being able to interchange within these groups, outside of them, there are two outliers, the M82 and the Car 98. They have enough spacing to create groups of their own. The M82 is insanely good with that bullet drop, and that Car 98 is really bad. It's insane how much of a difference the best and worst weapon have since their bullet velocity is barely 53 meters per second difference. So let's compare all the ranges and see which ones are the worst and the best. Here are the same two lists, just side by side now. You can see how things get rearranged, yet stay in sometimes a similar order like the SPR always being before the ZRG. But when we find the average of these lists, this is the order we get. The M82 obviously at the top, followed by the HDR and then the Ritek. But because of the insane performance the Swiss had in the beginning, it gets to keep such a high ranking in this one. And because of the low ranking of the ZRG, it again is pretty low. And at the bottom, of course, it's the Car 98, as expected. But which one should you use based on what you want to do with it? So while the M82 may have the best bullet drop, the Swiss K31 is the best rifle under 200 meters. While it may not have perfect bullet drop, it has the same bullet velocity as the M82 and better stats than it everywhere else. And for extremely long ranges, there's the ZRG. It has the best bullet velocity. And while its bullet drop isn't as great as the HDRs or M82s, which means you'll have to raise your reticle a little bit higher. But the major advantage it has over the others is that you don't have to leave your shots horizontally as much, which is much harder to do. So let's talk about how bullet velocity plays into all this. Here are the bullet velocities of the three long range weapons that we were talking about. 200 meters on the left and 500 on the right. And this is the amount of time it takes for a bullet to hit the target at that range. But what happens when your target is moving? And let's assume they're moving at an average speed in a horizontal direction. So up to 100 milliseconds, as long as your reticle is at the edge of your target in the same edge that the direction it's moving, you will be hitting that target. And for every 100 extra milliseconds, you'll have to lead one more body's width. 
At 200 meters with the M82, you can already see that you pretty much have to put an extra body between your reticle and your target. While with the ZRG, it's almost half of that. And at 500 meters, it's almost 4 for the M82 and almost 3 for the ZRG. And now the HDR seems like a pretty decent competitor here, since it seems to be a mid-ground between the two. However, a last thing that I kinda have to talk about is damage. And the Modern Warfare True Sniper Rifles are really bad in this category. Pretty much, if you don't hit a headshot, it's gonna be a 3-shot kill. While with many of the Cold War weapons, you can just get a 2-shot. And since it's been this way for so long, I don't think they're ever gonna change it. But I know many of you don't really care about using the most meta weapons. I mean, I use non-meta weapons myself too. So with this video, I hope I gave you the information you need about the weapon that you're using and the weapons that will be used against you. And with the addition of bullet velocity, I hope that I have helped you become a little bit more efficient with your weapon. But as always, if there's any build, weapon, or part of the game you want me to break down, let me know you may see it on the next Community Wednesday. But that's the video. If you enjoyed it or it has helped you in any way, let me know by leaving a like. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments section down below. And if you want to make sure that you never miss another video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.